G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And um, I've received some mail, I've got some mail from Prospecting 101, Acker, Mr Gold. And um, yeah, I've opened it up and I've had a bit of a peek to see what's in there. And there's a, a lot of goodies in there that Mr Gold's quite uh, kindly sent to me. So, I'll, um, I'll spin this around. And I'll just show you what he sent me. Okay. Let's put this there so you can see what I'm pulling out of the box. Okay. What he's got here. This is a shower. It plugs into 12 volts. And um, it's a an outdoor shower that you can use when you're out camping, out bush. Yeah, this here is, that's the um, the pump. You drop that into a bucket of water. Then you've got your on and off switch. Ah, yeah, is that right? What's he done here? Oh yeah, and that's your shower end. But there's a piece missing. Mr G, what have you done? I think there's supposed to be a, a shower rose or something screws on here. Yeah, yeah, because that's your pump, on and off switch, and that's where the water comes out. Or maybe it's not a shower, maybe it's to transfer water from um, one container to another. Or you can use it as a shower, e either way. So that's that, and this is a giveaway, guys. If you're watching the video and you'd like this, leave a message. Uh, sorry, a comment. Just leave a comment. So you want this, and um, I don't know how I'll do it. Maybe the first person to say they want the uh, the bush pump or the bush shower. Anyway, I've done this all wrong. I've got a mess. I've got a letter here. I'm supposed to read this first. Just a minute, guys. I've mucked it up. Okay. Hi, biggest. Hi, biggest big man. How's life in paradise? Pretty good, huh? You betcha. Okay, I'm back from a great bush trip. The weather was nice, plus I got some gold. I'll be putting out some uh, YouTube videos soon. And, and we've seen them, mate. We've seen part one and two. Super. Can't wait to part three, mate. Here are some goodies uh, for you. Can you please crush and wash the two samples, 101 and 202 for me? 101 is from a specimen, so there should be a nice tail of gold in it. 202 sample is what I'm most interested in. Uh, so maybe do that one first. Hopefully your crusher and pan are clean. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. <laughs> The big quartz sample is from the pink parrot mine. You can see the gold in it. Crush it up if you want, it's yours. Uh, as is the other big rock. See the gold in it? I'll have a look in a minute, mate. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, the pump is for a shower in the field. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. I used it when I was digging a hole. Um, don't think it'll be digging any more shafts. <laughs> Those magnets, oh, okay, he's got some magnets in there. Those magnets are useful in getting out the black sand from your pan. All the best, mate. Cheerio. Prospecting 101. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Um, you've helped me heaps, mate, uh, over the over the uh, over the travels. Yeah, and um, uh, I want to thank you very much for what you've done, helping my channel and helping me. Um, I wish you all the best in your health and I, I really want to see more as we all do we want to see more videos coming from you Mr G cheers mate ok now I'll get back to where I was showing you guys what's in the box what Mr Gold sent me so we already know that's the shower and he's, he's put in a couple of uh, panning Panning dishes. Now, 
I suppose you'd use these as finishing pans. One of these is mine. <laughs> I've claimed it. It's got my name on it. The other one, I'm going to give away. So, same deal, guys. Whatever you see here, if you want something, just leave a comment. Now, what are these things? Okay, these must be the magnets. Oh, yeah, they're stuck on here. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a couple of magnets here. And this thing, oh, this is a magnet too. What you do is you push it in like that, the magnet's at the end, you pick up all your black sand, let it go, and all the, all the black sand drops off. Cool. More giveaways. These are all giveaways, guys. Now, now for the more important things, the gold. Okay, so, yep, 101 and 202. So Mr. Gold wants me to crush these samples and let him know what the results are. And he's also put in a few rocks for me in the bag. He's put a few rocks in. Look at that, that's a funny one, isn't it? It's got all that, looks like... Um, Moss, green, green, greenish yellow moss on it, on the stone. Yeah, a little bit of banded ironstone. A couple of other rocks, cool looking rocks. Cool. Okay, so that's that. Now, look at these big chunks. This is the gold ore, guys. Look at that big piece. If I ran me, um, me jeweler's loop over it, oh, he's got a piece of gold marked in for me. He's got a, he's put a circle, circle there. I can see it. There's a piece of gold right there. I'll see if I can bring it up a bit closer so you can see it. And you see the gold in there? He's circled it with a black marker. There's a piece of gold sitting in there. So no doubt there's going to be more gold in here when I crush it and pan it out. Okay, that's that one. And he's got another big, big chunker here. Another big chunk. Okay, this one's from the pink parrot. It's got, got on there. Pink parrot mine. Oh, there must be some gold there too. See how he's, oh, I can see it. Little specks of gold in there. You see where he's marked it. And in the centre, I hope you can see it. Um, there's some, you can see the gold sitting out, but I'll, um, I'll probably try and zoom in and take a photo of it before I break it up there. But this, the, these two big chunks, guys, I'm going to break them up and crush them and pan them out and show you guys the gold. And I think I'll do it, I'll do two parts. I'll, um... I'll do two videos because what I'll do is I'll crush up one of these big rocks and these two samples that Mr G gave me, he wants me to do them so I'll, I'll do these two samples first and then I'll do one of the big rocks and then on the second part, second video, I'll do the other rock. I'll crush that up and pan it out there and uh, yeah so that's it. So um, thanks again Mr Gold, appreciate it man. And uh, guys, yeah, as I said, any of these things that, that you saw, the giveaways, if you want them, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. I'll see you over at the, at me crusher. Okay, guys. Sample number one, 101. I'm going to crush it in my dolly pot. There it is, sample 101. It's um it's quartz.
Okay. I'll get back to this when I finish crushing. Okay, sample number 101's been crushed, and this is sample 202. I'll do this one next. I'll just show you what the rock, what the rock looks like. There it is. It's uh, a quartz again, quartz with mineral in it. It's you can see the iron. It's all rusty. So that's yeah. Sample number two, two o two. Okay guys, I'll get back to this when I finish crushing. The reason I'm, I'm using the dolly pot is because they're small samples. And um, yeah, I, I didn't want to put it through the big crusher. I didn't want to risk contaminating the samples. The dolly pot's clean after each crush. So we'll get a better result. Okay guys, that's uh, sample 101 all crushed up we'll pan it off pan it off for Mr. Gold and see if we get any gold I'm using Mr. Gold's pan one of his pans that he gave me See if we can get see some gold in this material, and I'll um. What I'll do is, what's left in the pan at the end when I pan it, I'll look under the. If I can't see gold, um, with the naked eye, I'll run it underneath the microscope, and we'll just have a look and see if the, see if there's gold. I can see gold. I can see a bit of gold guys, I can see a piece. But it just stopped on the ripple. There's a few pieces there. I better not go back any further. I can see bits of gold. Okay. Let's have a look here. Hey Brocken. I hope you can see. Right, I'll just pan it back. I just saw a couple of pieces. They were um, sitting up on the lip of the pan when I was panning it. There they are. See that, guys? See the gold? Just there. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one bigger piece. And four smaller pieces yeah so mr. G sample 101 yes mate there's gold in it and for the small amount of sample um, that I just crushed and panned that's good gold see I wish I could find st stuff like this up in the hills mate out of the samples I bring home okay I'll move on to sample number 202 
Okay, sample 202. Let's see how much gold we get out of this one. This is that real red oxidized quartz sample. Dogs are barking, and there's a lot of um, it looks like sulfides, a lot of black material. I can see, it looks like a lot of sulfides. Plenty of sulfides in this one. Right, that'll do. Okay, guys, let's have a look. Let's see if I can show you some gold out of this pan. See if Mr. Gold is on the gold. See something there? I don't know, it's going, it looks a bit more silvery than gold. See those silvery bits there, guys? I'll just want to bring it back. There's a lot of silver material here. I'll run the magnet over it. Some of this, this fine stuff might be. Um, metal off the uh, dolly pot but wouldn't be that much but this metal up here in the pan that's a silver metal um yeah i don't know what it is anyway i'll dry that out and um we'll look under the microscope Okay, this is a piece of that ore that Mr. Gold gave me. It's sort of a conglomerate. You see all the all the pieces of iron in there, ironstone, and it's cemented together with another material. And there's a piece of gold just there. So what I'll do is I'll I'll break some of it up. We'll crush it and pan it out and see what we get. Get that piece there. I might even be able to get the, the gold out and show you. I dropped you. You 
is in here somewhere, guys. That's all right. We'll go through the crusher. So, as you can see, it's really easy to break up. So, I won't put this through my my big crusher. I'll just put it through the small one um, because the big crusher, this because this is a clay sort of consistency and like a mudstone it'll um, block the crusher up, the big one, so I'll have to use this, put this through the, uh, the smaller crusher. Okay guys, I'll get back when I'm crushing. Okay. That's all the, all the gear broken down. This is only half the, um, half that big um, piece of rock. So I'll just crush half of it, pan it out, see what we get. Okay guys, I'll get back to you once I finish crushing. Okay. Pan number one of the crushed ore that Mr. Gold gave me. And I've got enough there oh, for maybe th for enough there for three pans. Plus I've got the oversize. And um, I did see a large piece of gold in there, so I know there's gold in the oversize. And there's going to be gold in this as well, in the um, in this crushed material, no doubt. All good fun. Even better when you know there's gold in the material that you're crushing. I saw a piece then. Okay, that'll do. Don't want to go. I don't want to go down too far. Okay, guys. I can show you some gold in this video. Just like the material I got from from Shane from the the um, golden circle, ah, golden, the golden triangle, sorry. And now Mr. Golds, he sent me some material with gold in it. I can see there's bits of gold coming back here, so. It's all right, I'll do it again. Just super fine gold in this pan. All up the back there. It's a fine, the fine gold. I'll have to get my stuffer bottle and stuff it all up. But just at the back here, guys, there's all fine gold. So I'll get my snuffer, snuffer it up, and then we'll do another pan. Okay, pan number two. The fine material, and uh, yeah, there was a little bit of gold in there. Um, look, uh, a couple of pieces you could see, easy enough, and the rest were just super fine material. 
that's what you get that's what you get from um, from this type of material what they call hard rock or gold from um, from a seam a leader I should say yeah this gold's from a leader that Mr. Gold found Let's see how we go in this pan. See if I can show you a nice tail. I can see the gold. That's all fine gold. Sitting up the back of the pan there. All up through here. All fine gold. I'll leave it at that and I'll stuff that up. And then we'll move on to the last pan. I'll have to wash the bucket out. Okay. Last pan of the fine material. The dregs from the bucket. Let's see what we get from this lot, guys. Can I get a nice tail in this pan? And... Not forgetting that this was only half of that rock. I still got a, another half of this piece of rock um, to crush and pan. And I've also got that other um, piece of rock that Mr. Gold gave me from the pink parrot. And I'm going to do that on the next episode, episode two. I'll do that big chunk of ore from the pink parrot. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, same again, I can see fine gold. Fine gold just up the back of the pan there. Just clean it up a little bit. I don't think you'd be able to see it, but it's really fine. It all goes through there and up the back there. So I'll tidy that up and snuffer it. I'll get back to you with the oversize. Okay. Here's the oversize. And I know there's gold in here because I saw a piece. I saw a big piece in there. But that crusher... Um, that small crusher doesn't if I keep putting it through the crusher eventually it'll, it will probably crush it up real fine but um, I was happy with just leaving it like this and um, as I say I'll go back through this material anyway I'll do it again And I'll put the uh, photos up of that sample 101 and 202. I'll put the photos up after. So after I've panned out 101, you'll see the pictures of the results. And uh, the same for 202. I'll put the pictures up straight after the straight after I've um, I've panned the material out. 
just so you don't get confused with the results if I put them at the end. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's see how much how much we got in this lot. I can see a big chunk sitting up there. See it? There's a big chunk sitting there, look. Oh, there's a couple of big pieces. There they are. Two big chunkers. I think that's all. Yeah, all the fines must have went through the sieve. That I've got in the fine material, and there's just these two big chunkers. I'll see if I can zoom in for you guys. I'm going to do the, do the old zoom. There you go. See them? I'll move them out a bit, out in the light. That one there's a picker, I can pick him up, that one. That one there's a nice piece as well. So there you go, guys. And um, yeah, that's only one part of that that chunk that I crushed up. So I still got the other bit. Anyway, I'll see you at the wrap up. Okay, guys, the weigh-in. Let's see what we see what we got. And I know there's a, there is a bit of black sand there. 0 0.16. 0 0.16. Cool. Thank you, Mr. G. Well, guys, wasn't that cool? Thank you very much, Prospecting 101, Mr. Gold. I appreciate you, man. appreciate the things that you send to me, the help you give me for my channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, and um, as I said with those giveaways, guys, if you liked any of those um, bits and pieces, the, the pan, um, the, um, the shower, the 12-volt shower, the magnets, yeah, I'll put pictures up so you know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, but uh, anyway, what else were we going to say? Oh, um, point, point 0.16 of a gram, was it? Yeah. Um, uh, but most, I think a lot of it was black sand. I didn't clean it up too well. But what I'm going to do, I've got, a, I've got a quite a bit of um, fine gold now. I've, well, I think I've got about three grams or something um, from you guys sending me pay dirt and stuff. I've collected it all. And I've got about probably three grams now, so I'm going to have a smelt. And I'll melt it down into a, a little button there. Um, that might be a few weeks away yet. But um, this is only part one, guys. Part two will be next. I'll probably do that next week. So watch out for us. Um, it'll be part two of, of Prospecting 101's mail. I've got to do that pink parrot, the big rock, the pink parrot ore. I've got to do that. And then I've got the other half of that uh, piece of ore that I did today. So I'll, I'll crush it all up and I'll, I'll pan it all out and we'll see how we go. Yeah, okay guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and helping my channel grow. I appreciate you all. And um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Ah, that's nice. It's a bit overcast today, it's sort of a bit humid. But it's still a lovely day. Every day is a lovely day when your eyes are open. Okay, guys. Bye for now. Thanks, Mr. G.